What's good, YouTube? It's um, <clears throat> you already know who I am. I'm just sick and tired of doing my doing an intro. But anyways, man, I'm here to talk about Deion Sanders, and obviously, I've seen it from first take to Colin Coward to to undisputed. Um, and obviously he started, I'm not going to say started, but I did a video of him about him when he did make the move. Um, I got a lot of backlash from it. Bad. Um, I got a lot of bad negative comments which is okay. I mean, I mean, people are tired to their own opinion. Um, I didn't say he couldn't coach. I just said that the way he he goes about recruiting players, you know, I mean, just because you, I mean, just because you you were you were a great player doesn't automatically make you a great head coach you know like he still has a long way um to go you know if he wants to be a successful head coach you know um you know for him to just been for him to just you know get thrown into the fire like that you know i mean obviously the school that he went to before um they were they were pretty good, you know. Uh, so he went from a team that was a contender to a team that's one in twelve. Now I'm all for, um, I'm all for. Um, let me turn on the mic. I'm all for you know doing the impossible. You know what I'm saying? Because I think, you know, taking a team that's bad and changing it, you know, for the better is, uh, you know, A plus in his book. You know, if he could turn that franchise or that school around and make it a competitive team for years to come, probably win a couple of, you know, championships, then everything is going to get wiped away, you know? Um, but for Deion Sanders, like Deion have, Deion have to really understand that coaching or playing is different than coaching, right? Coaching, you have to constantly every single day get these guys or get these men in line you know what i'm saying these 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 young men in line to succeed and he said that in the press conference you know what i'm saying is either you get promoted or you get deep pro or you get demoted or that's a demoted you you either get promoted or you get fired you know, there's no in between. You know what I'm saying? That he's correct about. You know, is either you get promoted or you get fired as a head coach. Now I hear other reports that you know the Colorado uh, Bulls um, can't afford um, Deion Sanders' salary or Deion Sanders' salary. Like he can't. Like the school can't can't pay what Dion is asking for, basically. You know, that was just some reports on, you know, I was reading about on uh, on uh, Facebook where, you know, the school can't afford because it's not like one of these top notch schools where it's Alabama or 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 Ohio State, you know what I'm saying? I mean, these are like low, low budget schools. So, 
Colorado Bulls, they're not, they're not that elite program that, you know, that's going to give him the bag, which he'll probably say it's not be it's not about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like he wants to guide these kids to the right path. You know what I'm saying? Like he could give a damn about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like it is just his words, you know? Like I'm pretty sure, you know, he could give two rats a about the money. You know, his goal is to get these kids prepared. Turn this franchise, turn that organization around. But like I said, Dion, it's levels to this. Yeah, you may have been a great player. People might probably say you arguably the best shut down corner in your position. And there was a lot of great corners. But coaching is a different animal. Coaching, you obviously every single day have to do the same thing over and over and over and over. And there's going to be games where you get blown out. There's going to there's gonna be games where you lose close games that you should have won. I don't really know all too much about Colorado, but all I know is it's a it's again one of those low budget schools, kind of like Duke, you know. Um, you know, I I believe um, I believe he offered Auburn a position. They turned him down. Like, what? You turning Deion Sanders down? Like, do you know who that is? Like, we all know who that is, but he's not playing no more. He's coaching. And he doesn't have enough experience in that field. He just doesn't. I mean, that's like putting a firefighter in a policeman. In, 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 that's, that's, that, that's like taking a firefighter and putting him as a policeman and taking a policeman and putting him as a firefighter. Those are two totally different job descriptions, right? But a lot of people would say, well, I would rather a firefighter save, would save my life than a policeman. Because nine times out of 10, last time I checked, firefighters don't, don't kill people. <laughs> Fire do, you know? But now we're just so fixated on, you know, do the right thing, call the police, you know, like the police is against us too at the end of the day. But I'm just getting off the topic. I'm just, you know, paraphrasing, but coaching is different. Now, again, I don't know what you had over there at Jackson State. Yeah, I had that school. That school was pretty good. You know, they were winning a lot of games. You know, I've kept up with Jackson State. They've won. They, they was winning a lot of games. But for some odd reason, you left that to pursue a, 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 a job where... Now, maybe if he's up to the task... Hey, God bless him. You know, I hope he turns that school around, you know, but a lot of people are like second guessing, like, why did he choose that school? Why did he choose that school? Why does it like, why did he school? Like, why did he choose that school? Why did he choose that school? You know what I'm saying? Like out of all the schools he could have chosen, why did he choose that one? Maybe he wanted to challenge himself. Cause obviously going to a good school, you you're not gonna like you're not like you're not gonna like you're not gonna challenge yourself. You know, like everything is already in line. You know, you don't have to worry about this, you don't have to worry about that. But when you come to a struggling 
school like Colorado that only won one game, it shows. You know, maybe he he wants to test himself. He wants to see, you know what? I'm going to show everybody I could turn this sorry-ass school into a juggernaut. You know, a lot of people are questioning him. A lot of people are defending him. I've seen it all throughout, um, you know, YouTube. You know, YouTubers, you know, that's involved in the sports, that like sports. They're also defending him. You know what I'm saying? But in my defense, I'm going to defend Deion Sanders. I know last time I did a, a a take on him, I got ridiculed. You know, uh, twenty four, you know, the comments. I got. I had one k. I had one. Yeah, I had like one k likes. But the rest, the rest of it was negative, and I understand that. I just didn't like the way he was recruiting. Didn't question his 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 coaching methods. Didn't say he was a bad person. I just didn't like his coaching me- method. So now I'm here to defend Deion Sanders. And I'm just going to say three things. Three. Number one, Deion Sanders wants his son to transfer to Colorado, where he's at. Number two, he already hired his offensive coordinator. And number three, he's going to give these kids motivational speeches almost every single day. You know, because he wants them to succeed. And if they succeed, it's, it's, it's a A plus for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's an A plus for them if they succeed. If, the, if if some of them even remotely get drafted next year, probably his son. I don't know, but hopefully, you know, when the time comes, you know. So, I hope he does good. Um, for the naysayers that doubts him, I hope he shuts them all up and turn that franchise around because we've all seen Bill Parcell take, take, take the Miami Dolphins that were like one in what? One in 16. And then they turned, and then he turned that franchise around. You know what I'm saying? So it can be done. You just need the pieces. You need the personnel. You need the pieces. You need the, I said person, pieces. You need the personnel you need the head coach, and you need a foundation. That's what you need. Those are the three things you need, personnel, head coach, and foundation. If you have all those three things in place, it's going to go wonders. He's going to win a lot of games. He's going to turn that franchise around. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody else is going to say, damn, man, I, I underestimated Deion Sanders. And then now you're going to see a whole bunch of schools line up, start kissing his day air. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I hope it works out. If it doesn't, then, you know, he swung for the fences, you know, and that's the only thing, that's the that's the best thing you can ask for, you know. But if he succeeds, then... I guess, you know, he belongs as a head coach. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.